So we just watched the Saxons and Scandinavians battle it out for England for the last two centuries or so. Who was the victor? Neither. This is when William the Conqueror invaded from Normandy and literally conquered the whole of England from both of them. So what can we watch about William the Conqueror, the first Norman King of England? Surprisingly, very little. The only movie I found that I could get my hands on was this French one. It tells the story of a young William, watches him grow up until we see his first battle. Then, fast forward to 1066 to right before the Battle of Hastings when he won the crown. The back of my DVD reads, To fulfill his legacy, he must defeat his enemies. This is the legend of William the Conqueror. That sounds pretty exciting. So what are my ratings for William the Conqueror? I'm sorry to any of you who watched this and loved it. I have attempted to watch this movie three times now thinking, okay, this time I'll get into it. Nope, can't do it. Maybe it's due to the horrible English dub, but it's just really slow and I feel no connection to the characters at all. Sex and nudity rating. There is exactly one partial breast shown in this movie. No romance of any kind. Violence and gore. This is pretty much all very close-up sword battles. The camera dodges from one close-up fight to the other very quickly and honestly made me a little motion sick. Lots of violence, but very little gore. A couple of, you know, squirt bottle sprays with blood here and there. If you have another recommendation that will teach me the fictional ways of William the Conqueror, I would really appreciate it if you would let me know. Next up, we have The Pillars of the Earth. We skip William II, or William Rufus, which is a shame because from the documentaries I've watched, he had a pretty interesting reign, and move on to his younger brother, Henry I, in 1120 AD. The show picks up at the end of Henry's reign, then moves on to King Stephen, then ends with Queen Maud. This miniseries is not directly about the monarchy, but it plays a fairly large role in it. The drama surrounding what's happening in the royal family is the main interference in the primary characters' lives. The story follows a cathedral builder and his family, an artist, evil wealthy people, and a bunch of church politics. This show is amazing. The plot, the acting, the costuming, the direction, everything is top notch. The miniseries is based on a book by Ken Follett. It was even made into a video game. All of the characters are compelling and have layers to them. I would recommend this to anyone. I'm going to go middle of the road here. This show definitely focuses on the romance more than the sex, which is refreshing after the shows we've watched so far. Nothing over the top or anywhere near Game of Thrones levels. This show is rather violent, but done in a very realistic way. There are hardly any big battles, but instead many smaller skirmishes and watching, unfortunately, horrible things happen to good people. If your main reason for being here are the epic medieval battles, swords swinging, probably not your thing but maybe still give it a try or check out the video game. Definitely not for kids. That's it for our Norman kings and queens. Happy watching.